Good day, everyone. I am Sir Benjamin Josephine of Libra, and you can call me Sir Benjo or Teacher Benjo. I am from the city of Balanga National High School. What a great day to learn and discover new things. They say that never stop learning because the world never stop teaching. So come on, join me as we learn together and discover new things under science. To make our lesson more interesting, I actually prepared a game. Are you excited for a game? Yes, I love games and I hope you do love games too. Well, the game that I prepared will actually lead us to what is our lesson for today. So for today's game, you will be needing something. You need to have a pen and you need to have a note. So what is the use of the pen and the note? So you have to put the notebook on top of your head like this. Okay, follow the instruction. So the closest picture that we could possibly have, we'll get one point for each drawing, okay? Are you ready? Alright, if you guys are ready, I am too, okay? If your notebooks are on top of your head, let's start. For the first drawing, I want you to draw a heart on the very top of your paper. Next, on the middle part. Okay, everybody's catching up. Okay, okay. On the bottom part of your paper, I want you to draw five stickmen. Okay, they are actually talking to each other. That's why I want you to draw five stickmen. <laughs> you know? Alright, so heart on the very top of the paper, a stickman on the middle of the paper, and then five stickmen on the very bottom. Next one, on the left corner of your paper, I want you to draw a dog. Okay, on the left corner of your paper, I want you to draw a dog. Alright, in five. Ta -da! Let's first 
define our objective for today. So for today's objective, let's describe the different levels of biological organization from cell to biosphere. It's going to be easy because it's something that is easy to relate to. Trust me. So far, do you have any question? If not, then let's proceed. Alright, so for our first question that I would like to pose for our lesson for today is what comes in your mind whenever you hear the word the levels of biological organization? So can you give me some answers over there? Okay, I can hear some answers over here. That's great. So all of your responses are great and I really appreciate it a lot. So good job! Alright, so this time what I want you to do is I want you to keep all your ideas. Okay? And together, you and I, let's all have a basic understanding of what is really the levels of biological organization is. Okay? So far, do you have any question? If none, then that's great. This time, let's further discuss the biological levels of organization of living things which are arranged from the simplest to the most complex. To better remember the arrangement of the biological organization, we created an abbreviation for this. So we have letter C, T, O, 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 P, C, E, and letter B, which is arranged from the simplest to the most complex. So once again, the abbreviation that we have is C, T, O, 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 P, C, E, and letter B. For the first letter, we have letter C. C stands for cell. Next letter, T for tissue. O for organ. Another O for organ system. O again for organism. P for population. C for community. E for ecosystem and letter B for biosphere. Can you tell me the abbreviation that we created for our lesson for today? So, for our first letter, we have letter C. Letter C is the first letter of our abbreviation earlier, which is the cell. What is letter C again? Yes, the cell. So now, let's now define what is a cell. Can anybody know what is a cell? Okay, that's great. Okay, good ideas. A cell is the basic unit of life, which is the most simplest among the rest. Okay, once again, for our letter C, the cell. Now we move on to the second letter. And what is the second letter? based from our abbreviation earlier? Yes! There you go. It is letter T. Once again, letter T. So what is our letter T? It is, yes, a tissue. A tissue is a group of cells that works together to perform a certain task. Yes, you got it right. That is our tissue. So that is for our second letter. First, we have cell. Now we have, for our letter T, a tissue. Now this time, we move on to our third letter. And for our third letter, we have letter, yes, letter O. So once again, what is our letter O? Can anybody tell me? Yes, for our letter O, we have an organ. So what is an organ? An organ is a system of tissue that works together on a large scale to perform a certain job. So give me an example of an organ. Okay, that is a great response. So an example of an organ is we have a heart. Yes, I have a heart here. That's an example of an organ. We have another example, a kidney. Yes, 
another example of an organ. A brain, okay? Those are examples of an organ. We have a heart, a kidney, and a brain. So once again, for our third letter, we have letter O, an organ. Our letters now are now increasing. So let's have a recap of the things that we've discussed earlier. So we have letter C for cell, D for tissue, and then O for organ. This time, let's have another letter O. So for our fourth letter, which is another letter O, what is our letter O? For our letter O, once again, an organ system. So for an organ system, let's now define what is an organ system. Can someone tell me what is a definition of an organ system? Okay, that's a good try. That's a very good response from all of you out there. So an organ system is a system of tissue that works together to perform a certain bodily function. So there are a lot of organ systems inside our body. So now, let's have a few good examples of an organ system. Of course, we have a digestive system. What else? A circulatory system. What else? A cardiovascular system. And we also have a respiratory system. Of course, there are a lot more of systems, organ systems, inside our body. So for our next letter, we have another letter O. For our third letter O, we have an organism. What is an example of an organism? An organism is a recognizable, self-contained individual. So what is a good example of an organism? Can someone tell me? Okay, that's a good answer. Yes, you guys are all correct. We, us, humans. Humans is a good example of a organism. Now we move on to our letter P. For our letter P, what is our letter P? Yes, okay, of course, we have a population. For a population, what is a population? So let's now define what is a population. A population is a group of multiple organisms of the same species that are living within a specific area. So that is our population. So once again, for our letter B, population. Okay, now we can identify a couple of letters based from our lesson for today. Alright, so before we proceed to our next lesson, I just want to confirm if you guys are still with me. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, to make sure and for me to assure that you guys are still with me, I want you to first clap your hands like this. some claps over there that's great I can see that you guys are still with me this time I want you to slowly roll your head like this like this okay one more mm, that feels good okay all right that's a little bit exercise over there Okay, there you go. You guys are still with me. I just want to make sure. Okay, now we are moving on to the next letter. And for the next letter, it's letter... Can I hear louder? Okay, it's letter C. For our letter C, it is, yes, community. So let's now define what is a community. Can someone tell me? More? All right. So a community is consists of different species within a certain area. So that is our community. Okay. So for letter C, once again, community. Do you have any question? Okay. If none, then that's great. So we are now down to the next letter. For our next letter, we have letter E. 
Yes! Right, this is actually one of my favorite letter. For some reason, I just love letter E. So for letter E, what is our letter E? Letter E is... Tell me louder! Yes, it is ecosystem. For the ecosystem, let's now define what is an ecosystem. So an ecosystem is consists or made up of different communities. And what are the things that are included for our communities? Of course, we have a non-living things. What else? And all other physical components of the environment. So those two actually made up or makes up our community. Okay? So again, once again, for our letter E, ecosystem. Finally, we are down to the last letter. And what is the last letter? Louder. Yes! It's letter B. You know, letter B is my favorite letter. Do you know why? Well, letter B is the first letter of my name, Benjamin. My nickname is Benjo. So, my favorite letter is letter B. So, for our last letter, it's letter B. So, B stands as biosphere. So, for the biosphere, what does biosphere stands for? Or what, how can we define the biosphere? So, biosphere is all of the ecosystem on Earth added together. Can you imagine all of the ecosystem on Earth added together? It actually includes molecule. What else? Plant. What else? Rocks. You know, all of this are included in a biosphere. So for our for our last letter, it's letter B, the biosphere. Today, we have learned the different levels of biological organization. As a recap, we've learned to describe each of them through the help of abbreviation that we created. I hope that the video is helpful. Benjamin Joseph Bilumibao, you can call me Sir Benjo or Teacher Benjo, whichever you'd like to. And I'm hoping to see you once again in my class. Alright, so have a good day everyone. Bye-bye.